Hello Chat Boys out there, today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got up to on my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. I hope you guys are all having a lovely week. I have had Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off. I've been very lucky as I was supposed to work Monday evening but one of my colleagues who wanted some more hours asked if they could do my evening shift. So I was like, yeah sure, no worries. Which meant I got four days off and yeah, it's been really good. Of course, I went to Western on Sunday. And then on Monday, I got up after a nice line. I got showered and changed, had some cereal, and I got ready to go meet up with two of my colleagues for a coffee catch up. And my mum was asleep, so is my younger sister. My dad, older brother and sister, and younger brother work. And I locked up and headed off to go meet my colleagues for a coffee catch up at Coffee One. And I got up to the high street a little bit early for our catch up. So popped into one of the flower shops to kill the time before meeting at the coffee shop. And I got some flower snacks from the flower shop that I'm gonna show you guys now. I love it in there. I was having a nice chat with the flower shop keepers in there and also got some plant slats on there that I'm going to show you guys now. I love all the succulents and cactuses and the plants hanging from the windows, it's just so beautiful. I then met up with my two colleagues at Coffee One, one of them turned up first and then the other one was a little bit later so i gave them both hugs and was having a lovely catch up with them and i had a caramel frappe and a toasted tea cake from there that i'm gonna show you guys now it was so delicious i love the toasted tea cakes they do there they are literally ginormous and i couldn't actually eat it all because they're so big and then we went outside and sat outside catching some sunshine some waves and they mentioned about my tan a pan I put with a tan which is great and they said how my hair was looking and about how I looked I was looking trim I was like keep it coming any more confidence and my head's not gonna be able to fit through the door at work and yeah it was just a lovely catch up we were chatting away laughing a lot and then one of them had to head off and I was with the other colleague of mine and we just sat chatting some more and then we we're gonna go have a look at the charge shops. And just as we went into the St. Mary's Centre, her mum and their dog was there. And they were going off for lunch, so they headed off. And I then went off and had a look at the charge shops. And I got myself a Greg's lunch. I had that. And then I went off to my town's castle gardens and got some flower slots from my town's castle gardens that I'm gonna show you guys now. I love my town's castles gardens, they're just so beautiful, so well kept. I love all the roses and the beautiful colourful flowers. I then made my way back and on the way back I was just having a lovely stroll, enjoying the sunshine and the lovely blue skies. The weather has been so lovely at the moment, I just really hope, fingers crossed, that it stays nice on my birthday, which is on the Saturday. I can't believe I'm going to be 26 this Saturday. It's just flown by. I only just put my birthday list in because my mum when picking me up from work the other night, was like, I guess you didn't want anything for your birthday. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you haven't given us a list or anything. I just get so much harder when you get older, when you're an adult, because if you want to get something, you buy it because you've got your own money. So my mum and dad always say around me and my siblings' birthdays, or if it's coming up to Christmas, not to buy anything because they might be getting it for us. So yeah, I've just asked for a load of like, mainly like doll house accessories and things like that food books nothing too big and yeah going to going to smith's and nando's on my birthday with my older brother and sister and i think my older sister is also coming now and i think my younger brother's girlfriend and maybe him so there's a lot of us coming now and i think it's just be gives me my older brother and his girlfriend because they were treating me to the nando's and the look around the mall and going off to smith's and i think a load of us are going it should be good and then in the afternoon i'm planning to go off to dobby's with my mum and my grandma and then we're gonna have a party tea in the evening 
and yeah it should be fun and i got back and my older brother was back from being at work and i watched home and away i sit to country and far run wrote a bit of my journal and sorted out my beauty doll and then my old sister got us KFC for tea and my mum and dad had taken my grandma in to see my grandpa in this rehab place and they got back and me and my younger sister we just watched a bit of Love Rosie. I love that film. I've got the book. I love Lily Collins and Sam Callahan who plays the main characters in the film. And we also watched Me Before You, which has also got Sam Callahan in and love him, he is gorgeous. Then we had Kessie, my older sister got for a belated Father's Day you know, because my dad's Father's Day was kind of it was the trip to Western, so it was for my grandma's birthday, which was on the 40th, so it kind of got overshadowed a bit. So we got him some KFC because he loves a bit of KFC. And my younger brother and his girlfriend came over and gave dad his Father's Day card. And we had our KFC and also had a bit of lemon meringue pie, which is my dad's favourite. And I want to show you guys a photo of my KFC I had now. So delicious love the chicken legs and also the corn on the cobs and then i had a bit of the lemon meringue pie that we show you guys a bit of now love a bit of lemon meringue pie i ate mine quickly because i was scared that my dad was going to try and eat my bit too sorry if you could hear the drilling and banging in the distance the house behind my garden are having worked on on their roof at the moment so it might not be a little bit noisy so bear with then my younger sister and so my younger sister was just chilling and we were just watching some more stuff on Disney Plus and Netflix and we're going to start watching the new series of the summer item pretty soon which is so good my younger sister got me into that and I can't wait for the new season to come out and then my younger brother and his girlfriend went off home and me, my older brother and sister went off for an evening stroll and caught some Pokemon and I did a few challenges and then we got back and my older sister went off home. I then finished writing my journal for the day, put that away and then I was watching the UK soaps and Love Island and had some cereal and then I went off to bed and then on my Tuesday I got up and I had a really nice line. I was having some really weird dreams and so I did wake up a few times and it was just so sticky so I didn't wake up till later. I then got up and I got changed and had some cereal for my breakfast. I was watching a bit of Netflix, just a bit of music and my dad got back from work and was sorting stuff on the house. He didn't want off for a nap. My mum was up as we had someone come look at the boiler and my old sister and brother and younger brother were at work and my younger sister was asleep still and then i got ready to go off for a stroll and i got some flowers that's one on my walk let me show you guys now such lovely colors and patterns on these flowers i then had a look in the child shops i went into wx smith's and had a look at some of the books in one of the bookshops and saw some of my mates so I was chatting with them. I then had my lunch at the lounge and I had some blueberry pancakes and a vanilla milkshake. I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. Food from the lounge was so delicious. The pancakes are so good. They have a little compote with it and it was just mwah and the vanilla milkshake as well. I also got a really cute selfie in front of some hanging lights and saw one of my family friends. So I was chatting with her and she photobombed me whilst trying, I was trying to get a selfie, the cheeky mare, bless her. I then headed down to my grandma's house and I was going with my mum and dad and my younger sister to take her back up to Cheltenham and we were bringing our grandma along so she could see my younger sister and her partners flat for the first time so I was like there's no point in me going home when I'm closer to my grandparents house than my house so I called home and let them know that I was going to go to grandma and grandpa's and that they could pick me and grandma up at 
theirs. So I headed down to theirs and I got some flower sets from my grandparents' house and quite a lot of them are bouquets that my grandma had got from a birthday and I'm going to show you guys photos of that now. So beautiful, such lovely bouquets. Then my mum and dad and younger sister picked us up and we took my younger sister back up to Cheltenham and showed our grandma my younger sister and her boyfriend's flat which is very nice and they have cats that hang out on the little flat we've by the window and sometimes get inside and my dad opened the window and one of the cats came in had lovely blue eyes and she was lovely and really friendly just wanted loving so we were stroking her and then they tapped on the window from the outside got her to go out and then put her back out because she probably belongs to someone and but she's always trying to get in bless her and then my mum and dad took my younger sister off for a doctor's appointment as she hasn't been feeling very well at the moment whilst my grandma and myself stayed with my young sister's boyfriend and he'd done us some cups of tea had a little play with lots of biscuits on being very accommodating very hospitable and yeah it was really nice just chilling day watching cricket and i ended up snoozing on the couch which is so comfortable i helped pick out the couch and it was a good choice and then my mum and dad dropped our young sister back off home and she'd been to the doctor's appointment and she's just got an infection but it's like in the tube like down it affects like the like senses of course she that's why she was feeling quite dizzy and fatigued and stuff so she's got some spray and stuff to like and tablets like the solvable tablets to take so she should hopefully be feeling better soon which is good and i gave my younger sister a hug say goodbye she's coming back up on sunday which is the day after my birthday so i think i've got as evening shifts and i think she's coming down at seven so i might she might have to give me the present she's got me on monday which means my birthday could be spread out over a few days a danabration and yeah i just can't believe i'm 26 soon cannot wait to have everyone over to celebrate lots of cake i mean this week i've eaten so much cake i mean it's my birthday week all like trying to be healthy goes out the window when it's your birthday i can worry about eating healthy next week and then we headed back and they live right next door to a tesco that's first literally it is exactly next door it's not like it's across the road they you literally open the door look white and it's there so i got my mum a blt from there because she was looking a bit shaky i think she had a bit of the shakes with her diabetes so i got her a sandwich and i got myself this lemon drinks bottle i feel like one of those off love Island, you know when they like have these these ones normally they have the love one and they go on and I'm like can i pour you for your chat imagine if you went up to someone in wildlife and was like do you mind if i pour you for a chat it's so weird it's such a cringy show but i'm obsessed i mean i mainly i watch it because of ian sterling and his commentary because he just cracks me up my young, older sister's actually met him twice lucky devil and yeah he just seems like such a legend love that show i love all the drama and it's just always it's so cringy the challenge where they have to eat food from each other's mouths always cringes me out and grosses me out. i always end up fast forward through that and then we made our way back and my dad dropped my mum and my grandma and myself to George and they had food there. I had some Monster Munch and a J-Tro there. And I had youth club at like 6.30 and by the time we got back due to the traffic getting into my town now with all the new bus and stuff, the traffic is so much worse. And so we got back at like 6, at like 5.40ish. So I was like, there's no point in me going home and then having to get dropped back up so i stayed with my grandma and mum their food came and i then headed off and i went to go off to my youth club i was a little bit early still so i went to my workplace to see who was working just have a little nose in there i was chatting with the workers who were on shift and some of my colleagues who weren't on shift were sat out having some drinks and he called me over so i was chatting with some of them and two of them have left and they're now returning and it's great i'm so excited it's like a few old faces returning and then there's a 
guy that was in kitchen slash pot wash and he's come back as well and i was chatting to the person in kitchen and i looked through to see pot wash and i was like i think that's I know that person and the kitchen person who's quite new was like no you probably don't he's new i said like, i do so i stuck my head around and had a chat with them and yeah so many old faces coming back love it feels like i going down a trip down memory lane i then got to youth club and it was so much fun we we're doing lots of arts and craft kind of stuff getting things ready for a small little like town's carnival that would, that's on the first of the first of july because it's quite, it could be quite loud and quite busy, people with like sensory overload issues, we're doing a small one at one of the pubs, the Swan, to, so there's going to be a few games, like hook a duck, food stalls and stuff, which should be good because if people don't do well with crafts and stuff, they can go down instead. Unfortunately, I'm working split shift, I got my shifts early on, and so I will not be able to attend, which is gutting. But I am doing 9 till 3, and then I'm doing five till ten or six is it six or ten five or ten or six or ten i'm not quite sure but i know that i finish at ten which is i get to finish a little bit earlier which we're going to be very happy about and i then after youth club i joined back up with my mates who were out having drinks at my workplace so the colleagues and i had a chai latte from there it started to rain and it's been so lovely all day so it was a bit of a shame so then we ended up coming in and sitting on table one on the sofas i then made way back i then got back and for tea i had a macaroni cheese with little bits of bacon in which was so good i'm sure you guys have finished that now i absolutely love mac and cheese i used to hate it when i was younger and now i absolutely love it and i got these socks in the post they are pastel colours and also remind me of licorice all sorts. I love them. I love my subscription. I'm not cool. I have a subscription. I can't wait to wear these to work. One of my mates was actually at my workplace when I was having drinks with some of my colleagues and he actually was like, Oh, let's see your socks then. And I had foxes on my socks last yesterday, I think. Something like that. And he was like, Great socks. Always loves my socks, bless him. And then after that, I watched the UK soaps, finished writing my journal. I then put that away and I then was watching Love Island. I then went off to bed and then on my Wednesday, which is today, I got up after a nice lion, had some toast and a cup of tea and was watching a bit of Never Have I Ever on Netflix. I'm on season four at the moment. And the one that plays Paxton is so hot. And he's like 30 something playing as a teenager. I'm like, seriously? but he doesn't look like he's 30. He looks very good for his age, bless him. And yeah, wish I was able to look like that. Then my dad was back from work. My older brother and sister and younger brother at work. My younger sister is back up in Cheltenham and she FaceTimed and I was just chatting with her. And then my mum got up and I gave my mum's Kindle, which she was FaceTiming from, to my mum. And my mum then chatted to her. My dad was then back and he went off to bed. Then my grandma called up and the dog was barking, it was all kicking off. And then my dad took my grandma in to see my grandpa in hospital. My mum was going to go as well, but she was up tonight and has a bit of a bad head, so she didn't go in the end. And I ordered myself a buddy's lunch. I was then just watching some vlogs and some TikToks and some funny dog and cat videos. Got my uniform ready for work tomorrow and back to work tomorrow after four days off. Don't want to go. I'm doing 10 till 5, which means I get a lunch break and I do not know what I'm going to have. I definitely do not want to be having the French toast again. I love it, but I've had it too much. I need to try have something else. I might have one of the ciabattas. The ciabattas like this fancy bread. I might have the chicken one. When I first started with the new menu, I called it the ciabatta. Ciabatta? Yeah, ciabatta. Uh, or Star Wars instead of Tabata. So one of the customers I was serving found that very funny. I was like, okay. It's like, Tabata, Tabaka. It's like, easy mistake. And yeah, I think it sounds better call it the Tabaka bread. And then on Friday, I'm doing a split. I'm doing 10 till 3 and then doing 6 till close. I'm hoping because it's my boss the next day, if it's quiet. Fingers crossed, I'll get to go home early, and I am the only one doing a split shift, so that's what you can see. And then I'm off Saturday for my birthday, I'm then back in Sunday evening working the quiz, but I haven't done in ages, and there's four of us on, which should be fine. It's when there's only two people on bar and one person doing the quiz, so we need three people 
two on bar and one like cleaning tables and stuff because it gets pretty busy so it should be good i'm working with one of my family friends who i've known since he was little and i actually haven't worked with him yet so i'm looking forward to working with him on sunday and then i'm back in monday night doing five dog clothes which means the lad i'm on clothes with can drop me home because he doesn't live that far from me and i'll be like you know we're closer together in fact you're giving me a lift home and he always does he's a legend and then I'm off Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No, I'm off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. And then I'm back in Friday, 10th or 3, and then doing a split shift on Saturday when it's the carnival, like I said earlier on in the vlog. And yeah, that's going to be busy as hell with the carnival being on. But it should be fun. I get to fish at 10, like I said. So yeah, got a busy week. And then next Tuesday evening, I'm going to one of my colleagues' house, she works in the kitchens and we're going to be having some drinks and stuff and yeah it's going to be fun and i am now off to go and i have my buddies i went and collected that and on the way there i got some flowers out so let me show you guys now Love that photography so much. All the lovely roses out and about at the moment that I'm able to get snaps of and all the lovely colours and they smell so good. I then got myself an apple tango from the corner shop just down from Butties. Love apple tango so much. Then I collected my Butties. I then got back and I went in the pool slash cleaned it as it was a little bit messy. Had a few bugs in using it as their own personal spa and the cover for the pool hasn't been over yet i need to get that out to get on top of the pool so no more both to get in there plan to use it on my birthday as it's supposed to be very hot so definitely going to want to be going in there and i then had my buddy's lunch i got that ready just before i went in the pool i then got shower and changed and i had that and i'm going to show you guys a photo of the buddies i had now it was so delicious i had a tuna cheese onion lettuce cucumber tasted wrap with a cup of tea in my new mug that I got from the garden centre, which is so cute. And also had a Belgian bun, always saved the cherry till last, which is the best bit. I also got a Belgian bun for my mum and my dad. And I am now off to go and watch today's Home and Away, write a bit of my journal, sort my bleacher doll out, and then just chill for the rest of my last day before I go back to work tomorrow. And I hope you guys all have had a lovely week. Please like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you with a new vlog coming very soon. Bye.